I was like one of the younger niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like I, I, I was a, I boogied. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was de- one of the dancing niggas, but as far as like getting my music in it, it was hard. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Ask you about the just the the boogie movement and the and the, and the way because that's where you came in at, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how was it like that energy and that feel? And do you feel like? we are sitting in the right place since we've made it thus far. Uh, as far as that, that um, early in on that movement, uh, I was like, I was like one of the younger niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I I, I was, a, I boogied. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was de- one of the dancing niggas, but as far as like getting my music in it, it was hard. Was it? Like, I don't believe I had like a boogie record during the boogie movement. Yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had Mr. Hit That on here, and we was talking about it, and he was telling me some stuff. Man, that nigga told me so many different things, man, about how it started and just just the things that he went through, you know, far as being, because mm-hmm. he used to come in and shop during that time. In the, in, in the boogie movement. So I seen it with the Dallas the Dallas boogie scene. We was all partners. Everybody was partners. P- Paper Chasers, uh, T-Wheel, and uh, uh, Nature Walk. Uh, Trelly Prince Rick with the hit that uh, head beating him with the uh, whole CSB movement. Everybody was partners. Everybody was having fun. So they started saying, "Hey man, we hey we couldn't checks. Now it's a competition. Mm-hmm. We ain't we ain't one big group. When we kicked it for two years, no problems. Matter of fact, we fought together. Like every like everybody was beautiful. We got pictures of everybody vibed out strong." Be him, be him. Uh, GS boys, uh, Fat Pimp. He was he he go back that far. Come on, yeah, yeah, right Fat there. Pimp. Come on, we we talking uh, party boys. I'm party about boys, yeah. Any, and you got to think about party boys is like the Cedar Hill Langston side. Yeah, yeah. You got Paper Chasers, Oak Cliff. You got uh, CSB Grove side. You got Trail and Rick, the other side of Grove, East Dallas. You had all uh, B Hemp over there, Arlington, the Arlington side. Mm-hmm. Everybody was cool. Everybody kicked it, had a blast. Until they cut that first chick. Oh, was so his time reign during the time of yours, or was it before? No, that, that time was before. I, I, I don't. Want, I'll say, damn. How can I explain this? Um, to me, it was more so of a uh, junior high, high school. Okay, I ain't gonna say like college pros. Correct. Type shit. Junior high, high. Or school. I'm gonna say college. No, I ain't gonna say college pros. Matter of fact, we keep it. Out. Junior high, high school. So junior high was like me, young nation. DMV, yeah, um, which is got like shot. It's a lot of niggas still doing their best shit. That's come from out of DMV. Uh, uh, DJ White Chocolate was in that that era. Um, it was um, the GS boys, all, Prince and all them boys. They had they they moving, but they got in on the main screen. Yeah, they moved in. Shit. Yeah, we was all on the ground with it. We was doing um, holding walls, the club getting shot up. Yeah, mm-hmm. we running around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, doing what? every more every ch- doing the chilling circuit. Was that um, Rack Daddy time? What, what club? No, nah, that was that was. This is um a, a little bit after Rack Daddy time. Um, a nigga done done plenty of shows at Rack, Rack Daddy. 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 <laughs> Both of them. So this was before you know, cause we had Rainwater on here. So Rainwater talk about a Hawaii trip that he was taking. Yeah, a lot this of was this was before. I think me- all this stuff See, happened. No, no, so th- th- like that. So yeah, boom. because he said he took he a did. lot of people. He, he so did that. He did so that. He did reach out to you too. No, no, no. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I so it was a junior high side of younger. this, okay. and then you had the high school side of this, which you had your Trilly, Prince Ricks. Yeah, your, your, that, that's how I hit that's that. It, that. All yeah. that shit like that. Your young tees. You had uh the Rose doing his best yeah. shit. Uh, God damn, it's so much. Y'all, girl, I'm on the spot. <laughs> party <laughs> boy, party boy. Yeah. Niggas gonna be mad at me. I don't care though, cause it's. I miss uh, those what? days. I, I really remember damn D had that. Yeah, yeah. she just man, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Like we we were sneaking in the club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was sneaking. We was, there. I, I was sneaking in the club. Papa Ron was like, nigga, her grandma, grandma DJ shit. Come on, come on, type shit. Like that's how I was getting in there hearing this shit. Like yeah, like even just learning. Learning how to make the music that was just a little bit more mature, cause I was already having my way. Like everybody that was in the junior high shit, we was, <laughs> we was already analytically. If you would have got them, uh, like I always love to say, simulate our lives in that next two years, we was gonna be in position anyway, cause we was okay. working our ass off. And all the kids that that was around us at the time, that was our age, they was turning eighteen. 19 them next we was gonna be the ones in the club so now y'all gonna have to play us yeah you know what yeah, i'm saying they gonna yeah. be requesting this shit like 
they ain't they they ain't in the clubs right now. They out here at these house parties and these these little team events playing our shit. They not playing that grown shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it just kind of translated over. That's why I said it was more so of trust in the process and it grew with it. But even with that, I was on the low side of that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I I never. I, I don't feel like I was ever um pushed to the forefront of none of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I think people just notice like this but nigga is swimming through every water. He just he, he we won't go away. No facts, and I think that's dope because that's what built tenacity and strength. To be honest with you, no facts. Cause it I was mean, just more so. It was frustration. You know, you when you know you dope, and it's you, just more so a thing of you have to understand. Like what I was learning during that time was more so understanding the game and just where I was at at the time. You never was frustrated to a point of where you was gonna give it up. No, nah, I, I, in my mind, I ain't never. You was really? always I ain't never it. been a quit. I, I lie and be like, yeah, online. But you know, that's, <laughs> that's just to get people talking. That's to get the yeah. algorithm going. You did yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that's like those people who talk about, oh, I'm retiring, and then come right back around. <laughs> <laughs> I done did that. <laughs> I done did that. I'm telling you, like, but, but what it does is the people that don't want you to go, you get that love. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. might need that that day. Might need it that Everybody day. Everybody like, hell no. You be like, you you other it, people will step up and speak. I don't, I don't, it's just I don't you never normally even talk. Yeah, they never talk, and, and and them be the people that you need to see, not the right. people that's around you every day. Like, all right, I always tell people all the time, like, monetize everybody around you. When you see that everybody around you ain't making your ends meet, you got to go get. You got to build that fan base. You. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.